Good morning, YouTube. I am going to have to use my phone to do this video because uh, my iPad storage is full. I tried deleting several videos, all kinds of stuff. It still doesn't want to let me record. So we're going to do this. Um, this is the Gamma Raptor 177. This is the Gamma Magnum 22. This is the Hatsan Carnivore 30 cal. Those are all three are brake barrels. This is the Hatsan Blitz 30 cal. And that has uh, right underneath 250 bar, or right at 240 bar maybe. These are the differences in the size of the pellets. 177 is obviously the smallest one. Goes up to the 22 and then it goes up to the 30 cal. So that's a, that's a different type of bullet here. This one is like uh, made by Hatsan. These other pellets here, this is a clip for my Hatsan Blitz with the flat nose. Um, I bought online at eBay and I think the person or persons, gentleman, uh, ma'am, lady, they make these and they sell them. It's pretty cool. So I was thinking about doing, excuse me, about three shots of each bullet. Um, I'm actually not going to use these because this clip's already loaded. I'm going to use the flat nose. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this Raptor. This is the Raptor. This is a 177. It's an awesome gun. It's a really awesome gun. I like this gun because you have, you know, your clip up here and you also have a storage for another clip. I showed that in another video. So you got that and then you got your safety here. That's your quattro trigger. That's a... Uh, 177 with the red band you can tell that it's a 177 with the red band it does have a suppressor so it's quiet this is the gamma magnum this thing is a beast this ain't no joke it's got the iron sights and it's also got the rail for the scope it's a pretty cool gun man powerful powerful 22 this one is an inertia fed it's got for the rear sights this is also inertia fed the 177 again you can tell the difference from the 22 which is green and the 177 which is red now this is the hot sun carnivore and man when i seen this gun online i seen people playing with this gun i thought man i want this gun this has got a raisable cheek rest um here which i raised i haven't adjusted these ones on the gamos they also have adjustable cheek rests and there is some recoil to this this right here it's 22 and also this 30 caliber there is some recoil um the 177 not so much it's an easy break on the brake barrel and the one the 22 cal uh, caliber magnum is kind of hard to break but you, you know you can do it it's not a not a problem, but after <laughs> after 10, 20, 30 shots, your your shoulder and your arm is going to be hurting. Tennis elbow. Same thing with this 30 caliber Hot Sun Carnivore. And I have another video up with these guys. This is a Vortex. This is Quiet Energy. And this is not a spring. This is not a spring. This is a uh, gas piston. It's a pretty cool gun pretty powerful uh, I think that would probably be the least likely to penetrate out of these four guns this TV but we'll see and this is uh you know the hot sun blitz I just had a video of this up recently this is a very powerful air gun 240 bar almost full I guess I was off just a bit when I set up my uh uh, what is it called? My air tank. I can't even think. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I was trying to set up my uh, compressor, and you set it to a certain place, and that's how it pick you in here. I'll quickly show you what I'm talking about. So now it's driving me crazy because I can't think of the name. I'm new to this stuff, so oh, it's the Nomad. 
Okay, so it's the Nomad 2, and you set it right here. So I had it right underneath 250, so if I'd adjusted it just a hair, I'd have got it to 250. So that's my compressor, my air compressor. Came in that bag, came in a pretty, pretty good box, you know. And I also got the, got a few more air guns and other toys to play with. Oh, way. About the way, Jake. So here we are, we're going back to our target. And uh, it's early in the morning. I wanted to get this stuff done before anybody starts getting up. Saturday. So here it is, I'm gonna focus on the left side of the TV for the brake barrels and the right side for the PCP. I do have a backstop and of course the brick wall. So we should be good. This TV is a pretty new TV, so it's not gonna be hard to go through. Um, I am about, let me see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, let's say 17, 18 feet. From there, what, there's three foot in each yard. So about six yards away, not far at all. Uh, let's see if we can get you here. Nice and comfortable for this. Man, cannot find the right. There we go. Seven, seven. Pretty easy to break. I sound like it definitely went right through the screen. And it did not penetrate. I am surprised. This is actually metal. There's the dent. Definitely. Try two more with the gamma lethals. for sure that the gamma lethals would penetrate it definitely penetrated the screen portion but as you can see none of them went through okay let's get on to the magnum this one has been shot so I guess we'll just leave it here. cover those up so we won't get confused as to what holes are what.
Next up is the Gamma Rockets. Covered up and a bigger dent. I'm surprised. No penetration. Let's see, we fire off two more. Two more rounds. See what we got. I'm not as good as those iron sights as I could be, I guess. Okay, this one's came pretty much almost the same hole. There's one, two, and three. Okay, so these are where they, where's my fingers? Those are 22s, 177s, 22s. No penetration. No penetration so far. Now we're gonna switch from gamel to Hatsan, Hatsan Carnivore. I thought for sure those two gambles would penetrate it, but we're learning. And I actually am using the round nose for the carnivore. Beautiful gun. move the whole TV let's see wow I forgot to cover these but these three are from the 22 this is from the 30 cal you can see the difference in size obviously and that is the dent from the 30 cal no penetration for the sake of time I'm not gonna cover it I'm just gonna Let's see, 30 cal on this side. And those are the 30 cal dents, 177s, 22s, 30 caliber. Okay, now for the PCP. We're not even gonna use this target without confusion. We're gonna use that one.
Let's see what happened here. Definitely a 30 caliber pellet hole. Wow. Wow. I cannot believe this TV is this tough. It is not penetrating. No penetration, big dent. Man, I really wish they made some 30 caliber penetration pellets. Uh, make things a lot more interesting, a lot more fun. You know, if you know where I can get some 30 caliber penetration pellets, uh, leave a comment below. Thanks. Let's see. Let's see what we got. The three holes pretty close to each other. And one giant bump. Nothing. That's a big bump. Oops, sorry. That was my finger. That is a big giant bump. It's a knot for sure. I guess I'm gonna just Put it on full auto and uh, I'm gonna destroy the screen real quick in the middle. See, that thing is louder than loud. That definitely tore right through and made a hole. And I guess maybe made another hole. Not too sure. Don't see any holes on this side. I mean, I do, but that could be from many of the other shots. I don't think it's from that one because the trajectory is from there to maybe here and maybe there but who knows so anyways guys thanks for watching